So now in this video, we're gonna wire a 555 timer in a triple R mode. Usually you'll see a buzzer when somebody shows the circuit, but I'm gonna use a LED instead. So it's gonna be a silent alarm. We're just gonna have an LED flashing instead of a buzzer buzzing. So the timing part of the circuitry will have higher value components. We're gonna use 10 kilo ohm resistors for the timing and a 10 microfarad capacitor. And uh, we're gonna use the red LED so it's silent, as I said before. Now, we have it wired in A-stable mode so that it keeps setting the output high and low as the capacitor keeps charging and discharging. That's what A-stable mode does. But to do that, you need pin four tied to the positive side of the power supply. Here you can see that pin four, the reset pin, has a 10 kilo ohm resistor going to ground. So that's the electrical connection it sees when our magnetic switch is open. We're gonna wire it so it's normally open. It's open while the magnet is there. When pin four is connected to ground, that tells uh, pin three to just stay low. It also tells pin seven to just keep uh, letting everything discharge to ground. So now we established in this circuit, normally everything is uh, off. It's uh, locked into position and we have the magnet next to the switch sensor right there and it's going to be in the normally open position. When we remove the magnet, maybe we got a string tied to it or it's to a door or whatnot. I'm just going to physically move it with my hand. But uh, when you move the magnet, then the switch will close. That's when we'll have our flashing LED alarm because now pin 4 will have a direct connection to the 5 volt power supply, which is what it uh, always does when it's working uh, normally in a stable mode. And so here we are on the board. So we got five volts at the supply. We're always gonna have a little current going because as I said before, that discharge pin is always uh, discharging. But in any case, we will uh, zoom in and take a closer look. So here is the timing part of it. We got the 10 kilo ohm resistor to the discharge pin and then that 10 kilo ohm resistor to the threshold pin, which also comes to the 10 microfarad capacitor. And we got the threshold waiting for two thirds supply voltage tied to pin two waiting for one third of the supply voltage to uh, change the output. Now we got the uh, load here, 220 ohm resistor since we're using five volts, coming to the long lead, the anode of the LED up there, short lead the cathode going to ground. We also have to power the integrated circuit, the top pin on the right, pin eight to positive supply, pin one, the top pin to the left to the negative side of the power supply. And here is our pull down resistor and we can get it working normally if we uh, sometimes if you just yank it but if you go to the positive supply definitely and then if you go to the negative supply that makes sure that it stays off it's in the reset position now we have our switch so we're going to override the pull down resistor when the switch is in the closed position but right now it's wired in the normally open position they were still close enough where we didn't have a problem and now when I pluck it away now you can see the switch is closed. We have a direct connection to the positive side of the power supply and we have our flashing LED. We know that uh, this got removed from the sensor for whatever reason and now it is back there. So we're not in silent alarm anymore. So in any case, that's it for the circuit. Hope you enjoyed. Make sure you check out one of the other videos I'm posting to the screen. Click like, subscribe, the bell, all that. Donate Patreon if you can. I have links down in the description that helps out the most. But just watching videos helps out a ton. I will see you in the next video.